G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about the Helicontex Vagabond seat pad. Now I've just been out and bought this one today but I do have another two so I have tested them for the last six months, the main one. It's been used quite regular and that's in my Bergen pack. This one I got for the Matilda pack from Helicontex and the other one is an adaptive green which is for my Tasmanian Tiger Raid Mark III uh, pack which is in a multicam. Uh, the adaptive green seems to go a lot better with the multicam than any of the other colours. It comes in four colours. It's the earth brown and clay which is the same colour as my uh, Bergen pack. And then you've got the OD green, and then you've got adaptive green and the coyote brown like this one which I got for the Matilda here. Made out of 500D Cordura fabric, so it's it's good and tough. It's not like some of those fold-up sponge ones where they can damage quite easy if you don't look after them. Not as big. It only uh, measures in at 35 centimeters by 29 centimeters, and it's opened up. Oh, excuse me. It's padded with a foam. The Cordura, as you know, as a fabric, or if you don't know, is fairly waterproof or water resistant. And what we've got on here first, we've got a strap coming down, made out of a nice webbing strap, nice nylon, coming up to a plastic D ring. So you can attach this on the outside of your pack with just a simple carabiner. Your pack doesn't have to be a bushcraft pack, it doesn't have to be a military style pack with a webbing and everything. Just a carabiner onto an everyday hiking pack or a day pack through there, and wherever you go, this will go with you. We've also got a what do they call it? Yeah, close snap button which holds it together, which has got a loop there you can use. So, if you didn't want to hang it from that point, you could put your carabiner through that and have it. Hang in like this so there's less of it bouncing around. Or you can put the carabiner on your belt and have that on your belt as you walk. Uh, that's your belt of your normal pants. You can go on your belt of your uh, your pack. For wherever you've got a carabiner, that'll work. So very handy just having that alone. It fits in the top of my pack nice and easy. No hassle, fairly small, fairly flat, so it's not uh, bulging out. So open it up. You'll see that it's made out of six sections, but it looks like six sections. But I think what they've done is got the padding in between the Cordura fabric, and they've run double stitching lines all the way down where it folds and you've got the padding in between all the way so I think all I've done there is with the stitching it's held the padding in place so you've got the one big sheet of foam inside I should be sitting on this but I've got a couple of cloths and the, the bench and the table is a bit damp stitching very good quality like I said, my other one I've had for over six months, I've used it on the gravel, I've used it on the seats like this, on the metal seats, I've used it on logs, and it's still about 99.99% like new, material-wise. It's going to last a long, long time. So I've got a couple of spectators, I've got some magpies, I think it's a mother and a young one, or a father and a young one. So if you hear them making a noise, that's all that is. And the last video I think made, or one of the videos, the young one actually landed on the table behind the pack when I was showing the pack. So they're used to having people around and they're out of some food. But coming back to this now. Like you can sit down and with it being fairly waterproof, water resistant and the foam there, if you're gonna sit on it, you know your bum's not going to get wet because this is going to protect it. 
if you've got a bigger bum than me and it hangs over the sides, same sides will get wet, but you'll have a nice shape of the pad dry patch on your bum. Nice one here, it's made in, designed in Poland and crafted in Vietnam. So most material, well most materials, most gear, if not all gear that comes out of Vietnam is a very, very high quality and standard. Like I said, there's no loose threads on here. The stitching's nice and even. We've got reinforcements holding these on. Again, reinforcement holding the webbing on this side. So if it does get caught on a branch, the chances of that getting ripped are very slim, I'd say, or very low chances. So there's no loose threads anywhere. It's just really, really nice. So does it keep your bum warm? That's what a lot of you are probably asking now. Well, it keeps your bum dry, like I've already said. When you sit on it, or whenever I've used it, on whether it's a wooden bench when it's been wet, or the log, or the metal benches, I haven't noticed it there, so it insulates your bum from whatever you're sitting on, but not necessarily heats it up to the point where it's going to keep warming you up, but it's going to hold your heat, so you're not going to be losing any heat, if that makes sense. So when, when I've sat on it, I haven't felt cold, I haven't felt hot, but I haven't felt Anyway, it's kept here at a nice body temperature. And some of the times I forget I'm sitting on it. It's, it's that simple. I, if you know what I mean or a way you can describe it, leave it in the comments and let me know how you'd describe that feeling where it's not cold and it's not warm, it's just in the middle. And if it makes sense, let me know. So again, getting back to it, yeah, it's like putting my hands there, I can feel my hands warming the pad up, but that's it, it's not hot, it's not cold, it's just slightly warm. Now, the simple question is, would I recommend the Vagabond? Well, because of its size and how easy it is to pack, you know, anywhere in your pack, even if your lid wasn't very big and you had other stuff in there, you can see how thick it is. It's not very thick. It's probably, what's that, about a quarter of an inch in thickness. So you could put that in your pack that way, going down the back. So it's not going to take up much room at all. So, ooh, yeah, I could recommend this if you have after a sit pad that's lightweight, small, waterproof, comfortable, uh, insulated, all that stuff. It works. It works really, really well. I wasn't expecting it to when I bought the first one, but like I said, this is my third one. So I've got one for the three main packs I've got now. So yeah, I could recommend this and it does work. And I am happy with this. So yeah, that's an addition to the Helicon Tex Matilda backpack. So if you've got anything from this video, please go down below and click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell. And in the notification bell, select at the top, you'll see all, select all. So you can be notified of all future videos that will be coming up each week. Uh, and if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. I'll be putting the link for this down in the description box. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.